Um, I don't even know if I wanted to talk about this, but I want to talk about it because there's some things that I love and some things that I really hate. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump right into it. I was actually originally going to talk about whether or not I even wanted to watch this movie, but I ended up watching it this weekend. And that movie is a new Netflix film called Enola Holmes. I actually think that's the name. That's just what I've been calling it. I think it's just Enola Holmes. Um, about Millie Bobby Brown playing Enola Holmes, who is the younger sister of Sherlock Holmes. And I don't even feel like I need to like get into like the premise of the movie or to even give you like an in-depth review. I just want to say, dude, I don't trust critics. I don't trust critics anymore. Um, not, not, I guess, uh, individual critics, but the general, when I say critics, I guess I mean the media. Um, I mean, Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, the paid critics, the people that write for magazines, people that are more just general media people, because, because the, I didn't actually look at any reviews for this movie before I watched it. I'm going to be real. I am a big fan of Henry Cavill. I'm a huge fan, you could say. So you could say that I might also have a dude crush on Henry Cavill. So when I saw that Henry Cavill was in a new movie and Millie Bobby Brown, Millie Bobby Brown, Millie Bobby, that's such a hard name to say. Why do you have three names? Why, why does she have three names? Ugh. Anyway, that just plays into some of my thoughts about her as well. Hmm. But I'll get into those in a minute. Um, I'm a big Henry Cavill fan, and I think that Millie Bobby Brown shows a lot of promise as most people probably do, um, through everything that she's done, she has a lot of charisma. And if nothing else, I'm going to be honest, this movie didn't look great through the trailers. The concept didn't sound very good, but I clicked on it because I just like Henry Cavill. Okay, there. I said it. I admit it. I just clicked on it because I like I liked the actors and I wanted to be entertained. And I was. I was entertained. I watched this movie and I was entertained. That being said, the movie's awful. It's it's not a good movie. The movie is like getting beat in the face, atop the head, wherever you wish, with a frying pan repeatedly for two hours. It's entirely too long, and it wastes most of his time not being good. Now, I say that, and that, you know, that might sound like a bit of a scathing review, and um, I don't even feel the need to dignify it all with an in-depth analysis, but um, the movie does have a little bit of charm. Uh Millie Bobby Brown is great in the movie. Uh, I like Henry Cavill in the movie. I'm just a fan of the man. I'm a fan of the actors in the movie, and I thought they did a good job. It was an entertaining two hours. But that being said, like, I watched the movie, and I went in cold. I didn't really know anything about it. And then I watched the movie, and I was like, man, that was not good. Like, I think I would have been more heart, even more harsh on it if I was a big fan of Sherlock Holmes as a franchise beforehand. But I don't really care. I mean, I like Sherlock Holmes, but I'm not like big into it. Else I would feel like the movie itself was being incredibly disrespectful to the property just by existing. Because I mean, like who even likes like that? Who likes these random spinoff movies that it's about like the younger sibling or friend of an iconic character? And I don't even know. It's like it's just silly from the start. But um, the whole thing is just like this giant diatribe of like people telling Millie Bobby Brown that like the only good thing she'll be in life that she can ever do is be a wife. And uh, despite the fact she's blatantly brilliant and super cool and creative and can forge her own path in life, everyone around her is telling her that she can't do that. And they're just trying to oppress her. And Honestly, it's not even that like the general message of the film or the general ideas of the film are truly awful in nature. They're not awful in nature. It's just like it's so it's it's delivered in such a juvenile way. It's it, it, it was just not thoughtful. It's not creative. It was just like they were just beating you. The, the directors and writers were beating you over the head with a frying pan for two hours while Millie Bobby Brown talked to the camera and broke the fourth wall in a way that was kind of cute and kind of charming, kind of annoying and kind of weird at the same time. Really still on the fence about that. But um, for two hours and Henry Cavill makes his appearance and then I give the movie a good deal of slack because I just like seeing him on the screen. So, um, yeah, it, Millie Bobby Brown is an interesting one to me because I think she shows a lot of promise as a young actor. 
And when she debuted in Stranger Things, I really, really loved her performance in that. And so I started to kind of keep an eye on her because I think she shows a lot of promise. I think as she gets older, she will continue to become a better actor. And I think she will get a lot of opportunities because she's already building such a fan base. So I think her career will be an interesting one to follow. But one of the things I noticed very quickly, which I can't knock her for too much because I don't want to sit here and knock a teenager and just talk trash about it is that she got really full of herself really quick. If you watch any of if you watch any of her interviews and any of her media for the past couple of years since Stranger Things, she has gotten a little bit too big for her britches and it's not it's not becoming, but um yeah, it's it's put me on the fence about her, but because she's so young, I cut her a lot of slack. So I still kind of ignore that and I still support her career. I want to see what she does and I really hope that she mer- she matures. Uh, but yeah, so th- yeah, that movie was a dumpster fire. I'm just going to be honest. I'm just warning you now. Don't watch it. It's a dumpster fire. Actually watch it because some of, if you're like me, you might like pain. And so g- feel free to watch it, but yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Henry Cavill's in it. I-, I-, I love Henry Cavill. Okay. Um, speaking of Henry Cavill, I, I want to see him really just st- take off. I want to see him start doing some really fantastic movies because I love the man so much and he's done some really great movies, but I feel like lately he's just not taking the highest of quality roles. He's got good roles and they sound good and he looks good in them, but the movies and the film, the films, the TV shows themselves just don't live up. Like, can we talk about the Witcher? I don't really have much to say about it. Actually, I'm not going to sit here and review the Witcher that came out of months ago, but like he, I, I, I thought he was a great Witcher. I thought he was great in that show. That show fizzled so fast. I watched the first episode of that, of that show, and I was hooked. I watched the first episode. By the time they got to the super sick sword fight scene that everyone talks about and everyone shows on the trailers, I was hooked. That was just awesome. I, I liked I liked everything about the show pretty much. I, was, I didn't really understand what was going on, but I really enjoyed everything about it. However... After like episode one, the entire show just fell off. It was like they gave the budget for the show and like the excitement and the writing and the, the good directing to like the very first episode. And then they're like, all right, now we're good. Moving on. The rest of it can just go in the trash and people will watch it because that I didn't even finish the series because it was so lame. The production was meh. The story was convoluted, confusing, and there was only one interesting plot line. And that was the plot line of The Witcher himself, Henry Cavill. Everyone else's plotline was annoying. Like, it was just annoying. I don't have to say anything else past that. But, like, Henry Cavill, please, let's let's get you in with some good actors and some good directors. Because while I will watch the witchers of the world, I will watch the Enola Holmes just to see you. Just for a little bit of entertainment. But you, my friend, deserve better. That's That's all I can really say.